do you realize that there are so many things that you are thinking all day every day that are getting in the way of you being able to manifest your specific person you're looking at the past situation you're not focusing on the things that really matter peace beautiful family this is danielle welcome back to my channel and i just want to let you guys know that if you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching with me check the description box down below manifesting your specific person all resides in what you are doing internally what are your inner conversations what are the things that you are saying about your story when it comes to your specific person i'm going to give you guys some tips and tools to be able to manifest your specific person and to get them to be in your reality in a desired way really and truly what i feel like is that we need to get back to the basics of manifesting number one you cannot force you cannot chase you cannot beg and plead for your specific person to be in your desired reality. Let's just get that straight. In the words of Neville Goddard, there is no one to change but self. That self is simply your awareness. Your consciousness and the world in which it lives is determined by the concept you hold of self. It is to consciousness that we must turn as to the only reality. When you know the truth that in your experience of reality, which is the only experience you can ever have, everything and everyone is but a projection of your consciousness. How can you ever expect someone or anything to change if you do not change your consciousness first? And to change your consciousness is to change what you believe, what you think, what you assume, and hence what you feel and what you expect through your wonderful imagination. Whenever you are manifesting things, we want it to feel as natural as it can. So what would you naturally be feeling if your manifestation were with you? What would you naturally be saying to your specific person if that person was next to you? We want you to go to the desired reality, the end result, the wish fulfilled, as Neville Goddard puts it. And I want you guys to know that when you go back to the basics, the basics of the law of assumption is what you assume insert another word for assume expect what you expect to happen what you assume to be your reality is what you're going to experience so when it comes to manifesting a specific person choose to assume that you and your specific person are doing well choose to assume that things are working out the past does not come into your present. The only thing in your present is what you desire to experience with your specific person. And I see this time and time again where people are looking at other people's success stories and judging themselves against that. You do not have to worry about what is going to happen in the future as so long as you understand that when you use your inner conversations to com convey your feelings and your emotions with your specific person, you are creating a reality that already exists. And what I want you to understand is that when you become the operant power of your reality, what you are saying to your subconscious mind is that I'm confident in the fact that I am a person who deserves to have an amazing, beautiful, committed relationship with my specific person. Start to get into the person who has it already. How do we do this? Each and every day when you wake up, you make a decision that I am in my desired reality, no matter what my 3D circumstances are telling me. So back to the basics of manifesting a specific person is to make sure that your mind, your imagination is always working in the favor of your desired outcome. What you're saying in your mind is super important. Knowing that you're the opera power of your reality, that means that people, places, and circumstances have to show up in a way that is in alignment with your desired reality. There's this thing on social media where we talk about how to get our specific person to conform. Well, let me just give you guys some insight. The word conform actually means to obey. It has a connotation of someone who is holding puppet strings and they're doing this weird like 
controlling thing of forcing. Now I know that people say conform, so I'm not telling you that you're wrong if you're saying you want your SP to conform. However, I want you to consider that when you are calling in your specific person to use a word that would better suit you. Let's use appreciate. Appreciate actually means to like cherish, to give compliments to. I want you to sit with yourself and I want you to imagine your specific person in all his or her glory. Can you see their face? Are they smiling? Are they laughing? How does it feel to touch them? How does it feel to hold them? How does it feel for you and that person to be engaging in the most beautiful interaction? I want you to really get yourself into that feeling, that knowing, because I'm gonna tell you guys something. Feeling is the secret. If you can get yourself in your imagination to feel something so real that it has all the tones of reality, like Neville says, isn't it amazing to know that you can manifest a specific person by just starting to feel their presence? You don't have to do anything except for imagine yourself in the presence of a beautiful, committed, healthy, happy, whole relationship. That's all that matters. And if you guys would like to know more about how to manifest things in one day, I have a video right here to check out because I truly believe that all things are possible. Your manifestations, your desires belong to you. There's not one person in this world that can tell you that your desires cannot come true. Now, I would like for you guys to also know that I have a specific person course that I have created over the course of six months. The pre-sale is going on until February 29th. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I just want to tell you guys that I'm so honored that I get to be a part of your manifestation journey. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.